So, so I, I, I can actually intertwine even my experience. Out there. I was scared. Not to mention broke. <laughs> You know, I wasn't really producing the income that I really wanted at that particular time. Prior to, yes. But, like, after being, you know, abused and, you know, receiving a whole lot of information that just was not um, just beneficial to me, you know, it just caused me to go downhill in my mindset, which means if if, if I if my mindset went downhill, um you know, so did my finances, which brings me to my point when I talked to you and I never, ever, when we connected, we had been talking and connected for a while, but you said this one thing until this day, I have not, it, it stuck with me. It stuck with me. I carry it everywhere I go. I even tell people okay. this now. Wow. This came from you. You told me that a broke mindset will always attract broke clientele or bro broke people. And that, that was another truth that I had to own. That in a, at the end of the day, I just really wasn't producing the income that I want. And now let me be very clear. Broke don't necessarily mean that you your account is in a negative. Broke means that, you know, you're living from client to client. Oh, I gotta live this like 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 how you living from paycheck to paycheck in the job world, in the entrepreneur world. If you're living from client to client, and it's like, oh, I gotta, I gotta, where my next client gonna come from? Oh my God! Guess what? You're broke. Yes, yes. I call that. Um, I call that operating from a scarcity mindset because. Yeah. It's a place of fear. And we operate from two places, fear or love. And when we operate from fear, we're always grabbing, whether it's the right thing or not. And we operate from a space of, um, it's not a space of faith at all, right? Um, so we we attract everything that's going to bring lack back to us. Um, when, even when you operate from a scarcity mindset, you don't even serve your clients properly. Yeah. You don't. You don't serve to your highest. You're just trying to serve, hurry up, and serve the next person and or find the next hit or client or whatever you want to call it, a uh, get-rich-quick opportunity mm -hmm. um, when we're operating from a space of, uh, of a scarcity mindset. So... Brandy actually took my Slayer Plans and Profit course about two years ago now. Is it has it been about two years? Is it, I, yeah. I did, it was two years. Two years. And so shout out to my client Natasha who made my Slayer Plans and Profit um, t-shirt for me. Um, I've worn it twice, guys, and the material is still fine. It didn't shrink. It didn't stretch. So I love it. And Natasha actually created her T-shirt business from taking my Slayer Plans and Profit course. And so that has been one of the uh, extra streams of, of revenue for her because she's also a, a stylist in the industry. So Brandy took my Slayer Plans and Profit course um, about two years ago. So Brandy, prior to taking the course, where would you say you were in your entrepreneurial journey? Like ready to give up, call it quits and just be like, you know what? This ain't for me. I'm done. Like cut, flag want to play. Done. <laughs> like, done. never mind. Mm -mm, I don't even want this anymore. So what happened in the course that shifted you? What would you say your experience in the course was that that shifted you? I remember, I remember um, um, laying out my foundation. It was certain tools that you gave us that actually allow us to write out everything, like just brain dump everything on paper write it out so I remember taking 
um, I remember taking one of the, the piece of papers and I'm like literally placing certain things like categorizing. Um, cause I remember that, um, I remember that paper where it was like, you have four categories and we had to actually input, you know, information in those different categories. And when I finally looked at what all that I had to do, but actually strategically placed it where it needed to be, it allowed me to prioritize my time and plan out what it is that I wanted to do and actually just put a timeline on it. You know, I remember you told us to, um, you know, what did you want to get done in 90 days? And then on top of that, I heard this quote, somebody, you know, matter of fact, it was my husband. He said, <laughs> proper planning prevents poor performance. So between that quote and then taking your classes, you know, I was like, I can do this again. Like it actually reignited my passion between, you know, that and you telling me like, Brandy, you know, you can't operate from a broke mindset because you're going to keep attracting broke clients. Like just taking all of this information and just making sure like at that moment, I was so hungry for information to get back up again. I was like, you know what? I had to be strategic even in what class I took in that season too. So I had to start out with a class that taught me how to strategically plan. And that's what Slay Your Plan and Profit did for me. It actually got me out of some things. And honestly, I still to this day still use that information. Like I go back to the emails, I listen to the replays and I, you know, I print out the documents again. If I had lost it, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna write this out again because if I'm like confused, or if my mind's all over the place, because I know with, with being a creative person, yes, let alone a prophetic person, oh my you know, goodness, too, <laughs> like your mind is always going. So you need something that you can actually um, strategize with. Like you need a tool to use. And that's what it did for me. It actually, it actually, I was able to actually birth this book. This book is actually a result from Slay Your Plan and Profit. 